Hey guys, JD here from DroneCamps.com. Just wanted to do a quick review of the Blade 350QX Firmware 2. Uh, just wanted to tell you some tips and tricks about the 350QX, some things that you might not know, um, and also just give you an opinion on what we think about it at the shop. We've been flying it for a few weeks out here in our field next to the store, and so far we really, really like it. It's very beginner friendly. Um, these are available on DroneCamps.com. Uh, we're a Horizon Hobby and DJI dealer, so we're shipping these ready to fly and bind to fly. Excuse me, bind and fly. So let's open up the box and show you what we got. First thing you'll see is the quick start guide for the 350QX and as well as your copper tape for your GoPro. Make sure you fly with this copper tape on your GoPro before you put your copter in the air with it on, especially in the Wi-Fi mode. So inside the box we have the 350QX, comes fully assembled, all the props are on, facing the right direction, landing gear and the compass. And this is the battery hatch in the back for your three cell LiPo. Comes with a DX5E, nice transmitter for this particular copter. Also comes with four AA batteries. Your three cell 11 volt, 2200 mAh, it's going to be a 30C battery. Comes with your GoPro mount for underneath the, the copter. The GoPro fits snugly inside the mount. GoPro is not included, but we just do it for demonstration purposes. Um, and your hardware it comes with is similar to a GoPro. style thread. Also comes with four bolts inside the bag to mount to the bottom of the copter. So when you're when you're adding this on, make sure that you there's going to be a nut on this side that's threaded. Make sure you put it through on the opposite side. And then it'll screw through the nut on this left left side and go in. So you can choose from 45 degree angle on to straight on. I kind of like to shoot a little bit of an angle, so if you screw that down tight. Another thing you want to take care of when you're when you're assembling this is there's the word front on the top side and the bottom side of this uh, gimbal. So you want to make sure that it's facing front so that you don't put it on upside down because it won't, won't mount to the helicopter correctly. The next thing we have in the box is the E-Flight 2 to 3 cell balancing LiPo charger. Uh, very simple function. You just plug in the charge lead to the charger and select three cell. Make sure you do that. And you can adjust the the charge level from two to three amps. Very simple. And this time they actually, instead of doing banana clips, they did a, uh, a DC charger. So you can do it at the field or you can charge on the go at your local park. There is, we suggest getting a, uh, an AC adapter for this, so if you want to charge in the house, you can plug it into the wall and charge it. You can find those online. It's just a simple AC, uh, DC to AC converter, um, probably around the $10 to $20 range. The next thing you get in the box are four extra props, and we want to we make sure that people know that if you get these from Horizon Hobby or you order them from us, each of these props, if you get two red props, you get two gray props, they are different. Each of these props are different. If you try to put the wrong one on the wrong side, the copter will, when it fires up, it's going to tip over. So the, the leading edge has to be facing the direction of rotation. So on this one, if it's rotating this way, the leading edge is along here, and the trailing edge is here. It's very important when you're putting your new prop on after you break one, that is facing the right direction or you'll get a tip over. So, some of the things that we really, really like about the 350QX is that when we take someone out to the field for the first time after they've bought one and give them a, a quick session on how to use it, is it automatically goes into the safe GPS mode, which has stick relativity, makes it really easy for the new pilot to orientate which way the copter is facing and bring it back. So no matter which way it's facing, if it's facing us, it's, if you pull back the stick, it's still going to fly back to you. 
If you go left, it's still going to go left. And as you know from flying R RC airplanes, when an airplane's facing us without safe mode, or stick relativity mode, excuse me, it will be opposites. So left will be right and right will be left. So in this first mode, the beginner has a really nice way of bringing the copter back. And this is especially great for filming if you're out several hundred yards away from yourself and you, you get confused on your orientation, if you don't have like an FPV downlink and you want to come back to home, all you have to do, even if it's at a three quarter, it'll come back to you if you pull back on the stick. If you push away, it'll go away. If you push left, it'll go left. We've even tried getting it in a solid rotation coming back to us. It'll compensate and calculate all those comp calculations to bring it back to home if you pull back on the stick. As long as it's in your general direction and you're not switched around facing the other way. So that's a really nice feature. Another nice feature is how easily it is to, to bind to the remote. Uh, once you have your battery in, you turn on the copter first and use your transmitter to transmit a trainer switch to bind to the, the copter. So slide your battery in. One other really nice feature is that it does have an on and off switch on the bottom. So when you plug in your battery and you fasten your Velcro down put your hatch back on. It doesn't turn on automatically. There's an on off switch on the bottom. So you can turn that on. And it'll wait it'll wait for you to bind. Once you have your batteries in your remote, you can hold down the trainer switch, turn the power button on, and you'll bind. One of the things you want to make sure you do is that you calibrate the compass before you fly your for the first time. It's very important that you do that. Otherwise, it could have a failure or a crash. So we're really happy with the 350QX. I hope you guys check it out. It's a lot of fun to fly. The agility mode is just for the intermediate flyer. Make sure that you you know that it's going to flip and roll. It'll do barrel rolls and you're going to get about fly, 10 minutes flight time out of the 350QX with this particular battery setup. We're pretty pleased with it so far. It's a great beginner helicopter um, for a first quad. It's a great first quad. So check it out on dronecamps.com and we'll see you at the next review. Thanks a lot for watching.